In question 4, part A says simplify this expression 3x times 4x minus 5 plus 3 and find its values for x equal to 3 and x equal to half. And then part B says simplify a times a square plus a plus 1 plus 5 and find its value for a equal to 0, a equal to 1 and a equal to minus 1. So let's start with part A, the first part. The expression we have to simplify in this part is 3x times 4x minus 5 plus 3. So this product that we have 3x times 4x minus 5, let's expand it using the distributive law. So we will get 3x into 4x and then we'll, we will get minus 3x into 5 and then we will get plus 3. Now 3x into 4x is 3 into 4 is 12 x into x is x square so we will get 12 x square then we have minus 3x into 5 minus 3 into 5 is minus 15 so we get minus 15 x and then we get plus 3 so this expression that we have obtained 12 x square minus 15 x plus 3 this is the simplified form of the given expression now we will find its value for x equal to 3 and for x equal to half so first let's do it for x equal to 3 so for x equal to 3 we will have 12 times x square so instead of x we put 3 so 12 times x square minus 15 times x so again instead of x we put 3 and then we get plus 3 so this is the value of the expression for x equal to 3 and this will be equal to 12 into 3 square is 9 so 12 into 9 minus 15 into 3 is 45 plus 3. So 12 into 9 is 108. So 108 minus 45 plus 3. 108 minus 45 is 63. 63 plus 3 is 66. So we will get 66 as the value of the expression for x equal to 3. And now let's calculate the value of the expression for the second value x equal to half. For this we will get 12x square so instead of x we put half so 12 times half square minus 15x so minus 15 and again instead of x we put half and then plus 3. So this is the expression's value for x equal to half. This is equal to 12 into half square or 1 by 4 minus 15 into half so 15 by 2 plus 3. Now 12 into 1 by 4 is 12 by 4 is 3. So we have 3 plus 3 which is 6. So 6 minus 15 by 2 which can be written as 12 minus 15 by 2 like this and this is equal to minus 3 by 2. So the value of the expression for x equal to 3 is 66 and for x equal to half is minus 3 by 2. So this completes the first part, which is part uh, A of the equation. Now we come to part B. In part B, the expression that we have to simplify is A times A square plus A plus 1. And then we have plus 5. So A times A square plus A plus 1, we expand this product using the distributive law. So we will get A into A square plus A into A plus a into 1 and then we have the last term constant term which is 5. So a into a square is a cube and then we get a into a which is a square and then a into 1 is a and then we have plus 5. So the expression that we have obtained a cube plus a square plus a plus 5 this is the simplified form of the given expression. Now we will find the value of this expression for the three values of a given to us in part one we are given the value a equal to zero so let's substitute a equal to zero into this expression that we have obtained so we have a cube so let me first write the form of the expression so a cube plus a square plus a plus five this is the expressions form and instead of a we will write zero so zero 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 and then we have this so 0 cube is 0, then 0 square is 0 and this is what we obtain. So we get the value of the expression as 5 for a equal to 0. Then let's take the next value of a which is given as a equal to 1. 
So once again, let's write the form of the expression first. a cube plus a square plus a plus 5. And instead of a, we will substitute 1. So 1 cube plus 1 square plus 1 plus 5. And this is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 5. And in total, this is equal to 8. So for a equal to 1, the expression's value is 8. And finally, we come to the last value of a, which is a equal to minus 1. And once again, let's write the form of the expression a cube plus a square plus a plus 5. And instead of a, we write minus 1 this time. So minus 1, minus 1 and minus 1. And this will give us minus 1 cube is minus 1. Then minus 1 square is plus 1. And then we have minus 1 and then we have 5. So minus 1 and 1 cancel out and we have minus 1 plus 5 which is equal to 4. So for a equal to minus 1 the expression's value is 4. So for part b the three values of the expression for the given values of a are 5, 8 and 4 and that this completes part b and with this we have completed question number 4. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.